Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you a quick tip with geometry nodes and it's something that can be very useful when using a lot of instances of a same node but with different parameters. Uh, I'm going to explain it in a second. So here we have a window that you can change with all the parameters. It's very procedural. It, it's entirely made with nodes. If you want to see how I uh, created this node or what can it do or even uh, purchase the file uh, that you can do it. You can do it on Gumroad for just two dollars. Link in the description. It will help me a lot to keep this uh, channel up and running. But anyway, that's not what we're here for. I want to show you the tip. So so you have your window you can change your height you can change your width a lot of a lot of uh, stuff and if you have multiple windows in your scene like this for example we're just going to use this and then let's 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 say we want to change something we want to change the height of this one uh, okay this is weird the height of this one then we're going to change the, the the width of this one and and maybe we want uh, this one to have only like one wing and and, and maybe we want to just change the position of this one like this okay so now uh and then maybe we also want to like uh i don't know add some blinds to it or even or even let's add some shutters and something like this okay some nice shutters here but anyway uh, that's not the, the, issue, the issue here and then let's say for some reason you wanted to get rid of this sill and you can do that it's very simple here sill yes no but what if you want to remove all these sills from all these windows and let's say you have hundreds of windows in your scene uh, there is no way to select them all and then like turn off the sill because only the active object in this case this one will remove the sill so you need to do it one by one and it's not a problem when you have three um, instances but if you when you have like hundreds or more or I don't know 50 or, or even 10 you don't have that luxury you don't want it you don't need it and it's uh, time wasted so I actually found a way how to do that and it's scripting it's not complicated I promise it's gonna be very simple and this is how you do it so you go into scripting and let's just add uh let's just add a new one how can you add a new one like this okay i did it first thing in every scripting tutorial first thing you need to do is to type in port bpi i'm not uh i'm not actually a programmer or stuff like that i have no idea what i'm doing but i know that this <laughs> This line is a must, so it practically imports everything you need to import to be able to work uh, in Python with uh, for for Blender. Okay, and uh, okay here, as you can see already, something is showing. So if you want to move this object, G, move it. This is uh, what happens here. So this is like a window that shows you in script what blender has done to apply this operation let's undo it uh, or even let's go to n let's just move this a bit and this is what happens this is what happened and you can you can copy this line and you can paste it here and then if i put it back and i run this script here boom it moved it so you, you're practically just copying stuff from when when you moved it when you when you do it uh, manually and it shows here and then just run the script and that's what happens so how can you do that for uh for the things that we need to do uh so let's see what happens if i want to remove the sill from here so let's go into Celia Snow, boom, move. And what happened? Okay, this is the line. This is the line that we need. Okay, so let's just copy this line, replace it here. And let's try to do that 
uh, but let's bring it back here manually first. Okay, let's run the script. And it comes out as an error. And why is that? That's because... Uh, let's just see copy data path and let's just see what we have here we have these brackets and I don't know why blender here shows it like this and so if we paste it doesn't work but we actually need to paste this again I'm not uh, I'm not a programmer I cannot explain you why this happens but this is actually the line that's gonna work. So let's see again, run. So let's see if that hurts to see the sill. Boom. Okay, what happened? Nothing happened, why? And this is another problem I faced. So, so I was really struggling to understand why nothing happened because uh, remember we didn't get a error message so it kind of worked but oh did you just see that let's undo the, the whatever we did and here's the sill okay let's let's run it again and you watch watch here so I run it now click nothing happens but when I come here hover and it turns out it did change it, but I still see it here. Well, why did this happen? I had no idea. And then I realized this was the stupidest thing ever. When I click on this and I just move it, or, or not even move it, I just change its position, boom. Finally, it got this value applied to the node and it disappeared. So I realized, okay, it's not that difficult. I just need to set the value and then move the the node the, the 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 object left a value and then place it back a value and it would work and actually that's exactly what i did that's exactly what i did so now here i'm going to show you the exact let's just bring this sill back okay and let's just show you this is the exact um, file the binary file and so what am I doing here you need to copy all these of uh, all these all these lines and it's something probably I'm not sure these are even relevant maybe it would work even without them I don't know I found it online and I use it like this but the important thing here is this this just three lines it's your it's your loop so this is your select set, and then it sets uh, every loop, it sets a different active object. So practically, uh, this is like a line of text. These three lines will allow you to do that first for this object, then for this, and then for this, uh, until there are no more objects to apply these transformation to. And then you have our line. So this is the objects, uh, the input of the modifiers you want to change, the parameters you want to change. And this is the line I was talking to you about, uh, uh, to move it on this and then bring it back to zero. So what do you need? What, what do we need here? We need to change the sill and sill is input 16. So just change here 16 and set it to one. We don't need this one. And let's try and run it. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is the problem, probably. Okay, now let's... Uh, we need to set it to zero. And let's do it. Boom. Simple as that. You want it back? Set it to one. Boom. And it's back. You want, uh, I don't know, close the windows. So where is it? Open rotation, 35, input 38. 38, set it to zero. Boom, 
windows are closed and all the other parameters stay so the height the shutters everything stays the same anyway i thought i could make this short video but that's just not who i am unfortunately i love to talk anyway guys so this is it for this short video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one and don't forget to subscribe and purchase this uh, window with shutters just to help me out. Come on, it's just $2. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.